It's Tasty Tuesday. Carol joining me now. How are you doing today? Great. How Great. are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. And I'm always excited when you are coming on the show. Today we're kind of uh, tying in the fact that it is getting warmer. Eventually we knew it would. Sometimes it'll stay that way. And also a really specific and neat event happening this week at the McFadden Ward House. Tell us a little bit about what you're thinking. Well, today I'm going to be making a ginger cooler. And this is great by itself or it's great turned into a cocktail. And the reason why I was starting to think about cocktails this week is on Thursday at the McFadden Ward House, we're going to be hosting a lecture called Fair Park Deco. And if you're familiar with Art Deco um, architecture, it was very popular in the 1920s, 1930s when it got its start. And when I think of that time period, I think of the fabulous cocktail parties that they had back then. So. Yes, of course, uh, a lot of uh, entertaining going on. Right. And uh, this is something that anybody can come to actually at the McFadden Ward House this week as well. Right. It is free. It is open to everybody. We have some fabulous lectures coming in. They've actually come in before and done a lecture for us about three years ago and they are experts on art deco architecture throughout the state of Texas and they've written several books they're actually going to be having their books so you can get your books signed and autographed by them and come in for this dynamic lecture they are fascinating to listen to. Neat. And then keeping with the kind of the cocktail theme, like you said, uh, making the ginger cooler and I noticed that you're uh, kind of he having to heat up a part of it. Tell us where you start. Well, we're basically just making a simple syrup. So all we did was just start with a little bit of water. We added in a little bit of sugar. So this is about equal parts water and sugar. Okay. And then a couple of ginger slices. So if you want to add in the rest of those there and you just cook it down until the sugar dissolves. So okay. pretty simple. So it takes about, you know, five minutes or so. You don't really want to bring it to a boil because, you know, it'll cook out the, the water really quickly and it could even scorch. So we want to kind of keep it at a low, medium heat and then just cook down the sugar until you can't really see the sugar granules, granules in there anymore. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see a bit of steam coming off, so that's how you know probably that it's good. Right. And I see that you brought the ginger right here. You know, when I was in the grocery store looking for this, uh, for a recipe I made, uh, you know, pretty interesting. You'd think it would be really tough, but it's actually not too bad to be able to cut up. So you just kind of cut off several pieces of this? Right. This is about a maybe two inch um, sliver of that. So they usually kind of have like little finger like projections kind of coming off of it. You can just snap one of those off with your hand, peel it with a paring knife, or you can use a grater and then just cut it up into little round discs. And you want to get as much surface area as you can. So thin slices and it'll just kind of infuse through the water and kind of flavor the syrup up. So that's where we're going to get that great ginger flavor. Mm, okay, so kind of especially the natural part of it as well, which is what we're doing by not adding any uh, other sort of sweetener. You just added the sugar and that's, and that's it. it. You could even use honey if you wanted to in here or if mm. you're you know, diabetic and watching your sugar, you could use you know, an artificial sweetener if you would like. Okay. So pretty easy. So next, um, usually you would let this cool completely before you go on to the next step, but we're going to go ahead and pour these up into our glasses here. We've got some ice in there to kind of keep it cool. And we're just going to strain out the ginger. So about so, half a glass. Okay. And you said you don't want the ginger in there? Right. We want to strain that out. Okay. Great. And if you would like to squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there, about a half of a um, lime per glass. Okay. Is that good? That's perfect. Okay. We're going to top it off with a little bit of tonic water. Of course, I love lime, so... I do too. And you can put a little lime slice in there if you'd like as well. And you can also add ginger. And I'm sorry, mint in there too. And oh, then, okay. Um, you could also, you know, add in any kind of clear liquor that you'd like, you know, you know, rum, uh, vodka, you know, gin, whatever you like. And that is it. Makes a great little cocktail. And really, this is something if you are kind of working out in the yard or, uh, of course, maybe enjoying some time in the yard swimming or something like that, uh, this is not as adding a lot of uh, heavy, anything heavy to what you're doing out in the heat, which is always good. Right. This would be a great refresher. The lime adds a lot of vitamin C into it. The ginger is really great. It has a lot of antioxidants in it, and it's actually kind of has some antibacterial properties, so it's a great thing to drink when you feel a cold coming on or something like that. So it's perfect drink for Good tips, summertime. especially right now, allergies and all that kind yes. of issues. Tell us again the lecture and how we can uh, get to it. What time? The lecture starts at 6.30 at the McFadden Ward House Museum. You can always just give us a call at 832-1906, or you can find us on Facebook or our website for all the details. Great. I love that. Let's try this, why don't we? Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers to McFadden Ward House and Tasty Tuesday. Oh, yes. You like it? Like it a lot. Thank you. <laughs> really Lime's fresh. really good, too. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 